This was almost the end of book straight from life. Only last page was left. Before reading that, Rishabh went four years back. He can still recall his decision to quit the job and the situation he was in now. After in length discussion with his brother and friend, he decided to quit and called his father. A call. Papa, if I want to come back and do farming, then do you have any issue? Farming? You want to do farming? His anxious father asked him. No, but if I fail in my own business setup, then I will have to do. He replied. Own business setup? Oh, okay. Have you resigned? Yes. He reverted. Okay then, no issue. We have full faith in you. Go ahead. His father replied and then Rishabh disconnected the phone. The new journey started. The new name was taken. The private limited company was formed. He had chosen his four best friends for this venture and all were doing very good in their respective fields. So the team was ready. The idea was discussed. The plan was prepared and finances were arranged. His two best friends Deepak and Vaish had given him financial help but there were few so-called best friends who stopped taking his call fearing that Rishabh may ask them financial support. Some of them were even supported financially by Rishabh during their college and struggle days. But now they stopped taking his call. This is life. When you are in comfortable position and help other people, you have lots of friends and relatives. Once they sense their turn to help, they vanish like a wind. His mentor Mr. Rao told him once that he needs to arrange funds for at least two years expenses for managing both business and his own day-to-day -day expenses. Mr. Rao also cautioned him about his family and told him that he has to take care of his family as well. At this age, taking this type of change is not an easy decision. But if he decided firmly, then he had to go to his full strength. Rishabh was ready and started targeting educational institutes with two product mixture of hardware and software. The idea was that every institute needs these two. So it was easy to crack those accounts for business. And one of his founder members had expertise in educational institute software. One founder member was very strong in software knowledge. One founder member was owning some educational institutes and Rishabh himself was very good in networking and sales marketing. Despite all, he slogged two years and failed. Today after going through startup, a chapter in Straight From Life, he came to know the reason behind his failure. From his team, the working founder members never wanted to quit their day job. They thought they can manage, but the lack of dedication caused them old projects and new project acquisition. Rishabh also realized that these friends had their own personal issues and own motto, so one common aim or goal was missing. There were lots of talks without work. Lack of responsibility and doing everything by own was another blunder committed by Rishabh. All friends were thinking, let's help Rishabh. This line itself was a loser statement. Because in a startup, if you are a founder, you can't help others. In fact, you are working for yourself. Rishabh still remembers. He was trying to fulfill hardware and software requirements for one of his founder friends institute. He had invested his own money, time and energy to get all the information and vendors at one place. He discussed some new ideas for revenue generation. His company was able to fulfill some orders but due to some unforeseen family problem, other projects and order got delayed. As usual, the startup problem, financial mismanagement happened. If you didn't get your money on time, your entire cash flow will be on the toss and your business model bound to collapse. Rishabh was sensing this but still continued with his old arrangement. And he failed big time because he made a decision emotionally. After some time, he came to know that one of his founder friends worked on all discussed ideas 
and had also taken a decision which was in the interest of his institute to fulfill his institute's requirement to another vendor as a trustee of that institute his friend's decision was justifiable but as a founder member of a company it was a matter of discussion for rishab and another team members too the learning for rishab was that he failed to reap the opportunity on time due to emotional decisions the fund inflow was stuck for any startup the fund management is the key so even if a startup company was doing sales to a known company or friends firm always do the transaction on advance payment term startup companies are thinking they are getting favor from friends by getting orders but in 99% cases these orders are on less market price so the catch is startup is doing a favor to them not otherwise so make a rule to never work without advance payment never discuss all your business ideas in length to other don't try to do all work by own make provision at least one employee so that managing business will be easy and as a founder you can put more time on growth life's learning there are two types of people some just act like they are trying to help you and some people act like they need your help you have to identify and act accordingly oh so the mistake i have done in my first startup was rishab screamed not creating or touched new customer base rather than his friends network over dependency on other strength two wrong team he has made this mistake many times hiring friends instead of competent employees who want to build a great company together you have got to carefully assemble the right team before going anywhere three timing in terms of when he launched the company all the founders were busy with doing something of their own and so his purpose got defeated for business he depended upon their strength but they didn't have time and they depended on him for business it was a strategic failure this failed venture which had enormous potential had given very tough time to rishab family factor plays a very vital role in any entrepreneur's life who is up for a startup rishab recalled his friend dinesh's ordeal dinesh was working in the us leaving his high profile job he came to india and wanted to have his own business set up he started with his friends in the early stage of his startup he was working from home he had two kids and a peculiar thing happened to him once he phoned rishab and told him about his situation he said once your income is zero and you have a family to take care of when your savings are drying fast you have no office to go but your spouse thinks you have lots of time to spend at home in fact you have no other choice other than staying home and you can't share this pain with others this makes your situation worse your spouse typically in a middle class family is governed by their own family they need a luxurious life want all the fun want financial security for their kids for a better future but if you are at home need to take care of all household activities taking care of the kid for getting more close to them visiting in laws because you have free time spouses have their own world own problem you can't explain finance to them if you explain your need to save money they will give you 20 examples where they saved money for you you can't explain why you can't go for family function they will tell you that you always want to cut off ties with family and friends for them family means their own family her mom dad sister brother and kid your family doesn't exist for them 
so you need to listen to them and act accordingly. If you don't want to create another world war at home and want peace of mind, you can't explain. Life is like one way if you are working on a startup and you can't explain to them if you need a small amount of money in urgency when no one is around to help you. And the best part is that you can't explain to them how to save money. You can't mess with them. If you do, then personal life will be on the toss. And if personal life will be on the toss, then your professional life can't be smooth. They need to understand success never came without sacrifice. If we do all these things, then we are never able to build an empire. Motherhood is tough, but creating something new for their next generation is toughest. Yes, time flies, but if you do not keep the drive going, you will be finished. Do remember, if time flies, then life is one too. Further, he said, Rishabh, you know nowadays I have only one work to do, changing a diaper for my kid, whole day taking care of his needs, evening doing all the work for the house like bringing milk from market to arranging groceries, I have no time to think and strategize to start up. My life is totally messed up. Due to his family, now Dinesh is doing 9 to 5 job and gave up his startup idea. He is so bogged up, he is not taking any assignment of work from home. Rather he loves to spend more time in office and do late night work from there. Everybody who plunges into startup somehow faces the situation. Now he understood Mr. Nagpal's advice, peer pressure, pressure from family, friends and spouse. Here comes your balancing act, keep positivity to keep going and keep calm to avoid any unnecessary argument, especially with your spouse. Before moving on his next startup experience, he wanted to finish the last part of the book straight from life. Here it goes, titled as Who is your best teacher? It is your own life. We find it difficult to answer when we ask the question to ourselves. Who is your best teacher? We suggest many names and at the end we disagree. Someone will say it's his or her mother. Someone will say father. For someone it could be any teacher, relative. Our friend, if we think broadly, many may not have an answer. Today's education imposes many restrictions on learning and is odd in its approaches. It is certain that if one attends maturity, it is better to learn from the world as it teaches better. Please remember that life is not fair but still good to survive. As per Swami Vivekananda, life is too short to waste time. We have to be creative and stop hating the people around us. Whenever we do not succeed to take a new step, it is better to opt out. We do not have to forget we really need friends in good and bad times. However, when we are sick and helpless, our jobs won't take care of us. But friends and parents will stay in touch with us. To progress in life, it is better to make peace with the past and de-link our present lives from past. The present is an illusion. However good you are placed, everything can change in a blink of an eye. Don't worry, God never blinks. You are in charge of your happiness, no one else. Don't assess life in times of distress. Show up and make the most of it now. Many times we are dissatisfied with friends and near and dear ones. Just remember, if you don't take yourself seriously, no one else will. Your only action should be fresh, 
to the following day. No matter how your mood is, get up, get dressed and show the world that you are here for action, not like others or for wasting time. However good or bad a situation is, it will change. Your attitude should be never say die. Our professional success is uncertain. We are always worried about our failure and never enjoy the best of anything. Remember, at the end, what really matters is that we are all loved and cared by friends, colleagues and family around us. Our concern about the past and dreams about the future. Both are myths. Take care of the present and the future will be secured. Sometimes people say, if this time will go, then we will never get time to enjoy as we grow old. But same time, if you are not from a rich background and you are struggling to make your own mark, then you need to work harder and faster than anyone else. God has given no control over the moment following. The most important thing in life is what it means to us. Life doesn't come pre-packaged with this sense either. We create it. Doing so is seldom easy, but it's always within our power and well worth the effort. We will be far happier for troubling ourselves rather than letting everyone else design our life for us. Remember, nobody is depending on you. Everybody has their own life and own agenda. You should not poke others' life and not let others poke in your life. Our last mistake is our best teacher. How often do we say, we will learn from that? Mistakes are the true foundations for anyone's success. Learn from the mistakes of the self and of others too. It takes a sensible man to learn from his mistakes but an even wiser man to learn from others. Just remain in the world and observe matters and people around you as everyone and every situation teaches you to be a better individual. Just open up your eyes as the world goes on without our consent. Never forget you are your best teacher and rest all are paid for a job. You have to grow from the inside out. No one can teach you or can make you successful. There is no other teacher but you yourself. Your own experience is your best teacher. You learn the best by experiencing things yourselves. You can be taught about things and told what to expect when certain things happen but until you actually have the experience yourself, you really don't know. For example, you can be told about the taste of lemon. You can learn where it comes from, how it grows, how to use it. But until you taste it yourself, you really have no idea of its flavor. You can get excellent instructions from the herbalist, a health practitioner or a renowned chef. All these instructions cannot give you the taste of lemon. Only when you experience it yourself can you truly know how it tastes. There are so many ways to eat an apple. We can chop it, cook it, cube it, peel it, half it, quarter it, eat it whole, add cheese to it. Put it on kebabs, grate it, puree it, stew it, make it a pulp and goes on endless ways. We eat an apple the way we were fed when young. See this example as a belief being gifted to us. We continue our whole life eating the apple in a certain way because that is what is ingrained in our thoughts. Then one day someone offers us an apple cooked differently, we may reject it as we like 
ours a certain way then finally we give it a try and oh what an experience this experience give us limitless possibilities we start trying different ways or maybe hunt to find change ways to eat the same apple every day our teachers offer information to open up to a new experience which initiates a desire to know more to remember more to expand and to question life creates the experiences we live through so that we can apply the new information or wisdom to enhance our soul and life then one day as we are more confident in our own abilities we attempt different things so in our life we keep creating lessons our higher self soul spiritual self in order to can change things we realize that we can do something differently we can let go and we can move forward towards what we know is available for us or is more aligned you are your best teacher you live and grow through all of your life experiences as you have created and co-created them for your own learning you were born to be the best of you if not you wouldn't have been born at all our creator has more important things to do rather than creating wasted humans that will fail him in accomplishing the best he had set for them and had prepared for them even before the foundation of the world and foundation to success is learning from your very own tutor your life yes it is true rishab said to himself and his mind went back to his second venture taking a cue from his first failure he was very cautious about his second venture the first significant thing he had done was that he teamed up new people and made things very clear in the formation stage that whose role was going to what the new venture was also related to the education industry but dealt more on providing infrastructure he and his friend ravi had no experience in this domain but fortunately ravi had some connection with one brand owner of that edu infra business mr nilish mr nilish and his team were close friends once and considered him as a leader in that business owning 10 business centers in delhi now they had shut down seven of their centers and were struggling to survive rishab analyzed the situation and find out they had no shareholder agreement amongst them there was no system and the best part was their wavelength was not on the same page that's why they failed rishab had done some research and realized that there is enormous growth potential if they can do it in a proper way so he and ravi joined that team but he put one condition to the old team that he is ready to put his money time and effort but within a certain time frame they need to frame agreement and rishab will create a system cash will be managed by ravi and no interference from the old team the old team agreed upon the agreement all went well as they bounced back with five business centers within five months in edu infra business their brand yayati once again started to dominate but till then nothing had been done from the old team no agreement sign up and as usual once the business was established money started rolling human greed began playing a role and the old team now started poking their nose in all decisions they started creating a problem for rishab and ravi sensing this rishab decided to move on they created a new company defined roles and responsibilities made a shareholder agreement hire employees 
and launched a new brand called Hub. Those days were full of drama and action. Life was like a chess game. Everybody wanted to do a check and mate. That was fighting for survival. Old team had done all the dirty tricks, but due to all past experiences, Rishabh and Ravi were playing their parts smartly and outdid them. One very interesting incident happened where ego played a vital role and it was in fact a great learning for them. While inking the deal for a place for one business center, the owner narrates that same day team Yayati sent one of his staff for inquiry of the same place but he denied them. Rishabh asked, "Why sir, why you said no to them?" That fellow came and told me that the owner of Yayati, a lady is sitting in the office and wants to meet. What a useless fellow. They need my place and I have to go there. That's why I refused. That one mistake had given an advantage to Rishabh and his team. And they started their new setup. In this new journey, the things were not too smooth for them. But Rishabh had cleared from day 1 that he will only focus on the strategy part. The day-to-day -day activities can be done by the center team, other employees monitored by Ravi. Before plunging into entrepreneurship, Ravi was associated with a government job and a startup based on shared electricity mobility service founded by their friend Krish. He had operational experience and knowledge. So Rishabh wanted him to take the taste of entrepreneur's life where you have to know every aspect of business. Be it employee management, customer acquisition, expansion plan or financial management. The initial 2 months Rishabh was monitoring along with him. Once they added a new center, then Rishabh gave the full control to Ravi. One day Rishab found that many strategic decisions have been taken without him. It was good that Ravi had started taking a decision by his own. But bad for a newly formed startup because without discussion you can't take any step. It can break your dream. Managing day-to-day -day activity means you are front end. It doesn't mean that you start thinking that i am managing all problem so i should take all decision by considering this you undermine the importance of strategy and ignoring management team this can be due to ego and ego can lead self destruction he alerted ravi and at the same time financial results started showing a decline in business so they needed to sit and bang their head for finding the bottleneck Ravi what are you doing at the center daily Rishabh asked talking to customers converting them and taking care of all daily activity which is going on center Ravi replied boss you are a founder you should know all business activities but not doing all by your own you have employees to get things done on the definite time frame Don't do this mistake. If you continue doing this, will not be able to create a good system. Rishabh suggested. Then they made a new strategy. Now all junior members had to report to the center manager. And the center manager would take guidelines from Ravi. Fund inflow, sales conversions and getting things done accurately by the team and manager would be monitored by Ravi on daily basis they were required to share information and discuss with Rishabh this arrangement has been continued from the last 4 months and today in mumbai rishabh was analyzing the 6 months business of his newly set up business by seeing the green financial sheet now he can think about expansion hmm great oh it is 3:30 pm I need to check out from the hotel and have to catch up the 8:20 flight from Delhi. My god, almost 14 hours have passed and I did not even realize. Rishabh murmured. He has no time left. 
so he called the reception hey i am calling from room number 301 please make my bills ready i have to check out okay sir the receptionist reverted he put book straight from life inside his bag now he realized the foundation of success is learning but learning from whom your own tutor your life evening at mumbai chhatrapati shivaji international airport his mind asked and who is your teacher without any delay the answer was i am all you need to know you already have within the end thank you